why do I own high blockchain stock? In this video, I'm gonna go into detail as to why I'm holding my position. How's it going everyone? It's Ali, I hope you guys are having an awesome day. In today's video, we're gonna go over why I still believe in high blockchain stock. We're also gonna talk about the overall market sentiment, the price of Bitcoin and Ethereum, and of course, technical analysis, including short interest. Let's get right into the video. Overall today, it's been a very weak day in the market, not only for cryptocurrencies and assets, but also for the market in general. Dow Jones, S&P, and the NASDAQ were all red today. Bitcoin has continued to show weakness, while Ethereum has somewhat stabilized. But overall, the cryptocurrency market does seem to be under a lot of selling pressure. With all this negativity and selling pressure that's in this market, why am I continuing to hold my high blockchain stock? This really has to do with the company's strong cash position and of course the company's heavy exposure to Ethereum. That is the main reason why I'm so incredibly bullish on this company. Folks, keep in mind this is not financial advice. This video is only for entertainment. Make sure that you do your own research and due diligence when it comes to looking into companies. On May 10th, we also had an update from the company. I will post it below so you can take a better look at it that updated us when it came to the value of their crypto assets that they have on hand right now. The value of their crypto assets is around $109 million, which is a massive improvement on what it was back in December when we got an update as well. Keep in mind, the price of Ethereum has appreciated quite significantly from the time of these updates. Back in December of 2020, the price of Ethereum wasn't even over 2000 But as of this update, at around May 10th of 2021, the price of Ethereum uh, was stated at around 3900 USDs, which is a huge appreciation in asset value. This benefits high blockchain in such a tremendous way because as I mentioned, a huge portion of their holdings is primarily in Ethereum. Not only does the appreciation in the price of Ethereum help high blockchain stock, but keep in mind the transition to Ethereum 2.0, which is the network upgrade. And for a lot of you that are not familiar, the switch is going from proof of work to proof of stake. This is going to benefit us tremendously and let me tell you why. Over the past couple of days, of course, there's been a lot of controversy as to the environmental impact of binding. I've already done a video on Ethereum 2.0. I will link it down below so you can take a better look. I don't want to go into too much detail about the changes. The video will just be overly long. To keep it nice and concise, this switch to Ethereum 2.0 is basically going to need less computing power. It also means that less electricity is needed to actually get the job done. And not only is it going to be beneficially for us in an environmental fashion, but it also means that the validator or the company in this case with the highest amount of Ethereum or that's willing to stake the most is the one that's going to be picked by the algorithm to get the transaction done. This benefits high blockchain because as I mentioned, the majority of their holdings is in Ethereum. To validate this transaction, Hive blockchain will be paid a transactional fee. I do want you to consider as well that Ethereum 2.0 is also going to inherently increase the value of Ethereum. These improvements to the network is not only going to garner more attention, but it also means that it's going to be the cryptocurrency of choice, especially for a lot of folks that are concerned with the environmental impact that a lot of these transactions are having. Let's take a quick look at the charts and also address short interest on Hive blockchain stock. We're going to be doing this through a website called tradingview.com. This website is for free. I do recommend that you check it out. It is going to be very helpful for a lot of you that are trying to get into basic technical analysis. Keep in mind, this is really no, no guarantee of how the stock is going to move, but it does give us an indication for us to predict how the stock could potentially move. And as I mentioned, I'm not a financial advisor, so please make sure that you take the time to learn how to do this yourself and make sure that you do the research and put in the time necessary to make a proper investment. Let's get right into the charts. Now, the ticker symbol for high is HIVE. Of course, it does trade under the ticker symbol HVBTF as well, which is in the US dollar. HIVE, which is very appropriate for me because I am in Canada, is the one that we will be focusing on today. Now, the stock did close down around 32 basis points, uh, which is really, it's very neutral for the day compared to its peers, Riot and Mara. Riot did finish up 5%, while Mara finished up around 3%. Uh, so slight weakness on Hive in that regard. There are two points for us to focus on. Of course, we have the line in yellow, which is the resistance point. This is the level. If Hive does reach this point, there's likely going to be see, uh, likely going to be a small sell-off. That resistance point is where traders are most likely to take profit. Now, if the stock does continue its downside, the next level of support that we have is around the $2 mark and 90 cents. So $2.9, right around this mark. And for a lot of you that are not familiar with a support, it is the price where buyers are most likely going to intervene and buy into the price. This means that we could see a nice bounce up on that level. Let's take a look at RSI. The RSI is right down here. 
NARSI is a nice visual way for us to see whether or not a stock is considered to be oversold or overbought. A company or a stock that's considered to be oversold, which is down here in this range, anything below the 30 mark, oversold means that it's trading at a discount. Overbought, anything over the 70 mark means that the company is now trading at a premium. Let's take a look at the three month RSI. The three month, it's getting to be slightly oversold, but it's still pretty neutral. There's no indication that it is currently trading at a discount at this price. Let's take a look at the six month as well. Six month is very similar to the three month. Again, the company is not yet trading at a discount. And let's take a look at the one year. The one year, now the company is becoming more oversold, meaning that the company is getting closer to being traded at a discount, but no indication yet. Let's switch over to short interest. For a lot of you that are not familiar with short interest, it gives us a gauge as to how many people are against or betting against this specific company. Based on the values that we have currently, and I will also link these values down below so you can have a better look, the current and most up-to-date values that we have was on the 17th. The volume uh, ratio of shorts is around 38%. This is incredibly high. That is a very high ratio. Previously on the 14th, the short volume was around 42%, which is also very high. What does this mean? It means that a lot of people are betting against the stock in the event that we do have good news or a switch in the market. A lot of these folks that are shorting this company will have to buy back into the stock and it raises the price. There's no indication that we are getting this. This is not happening at this point, uh, but it's very similar to what we call a short squeeze. Good news comes in. A lot of these short sellers have to buy back into the stock and we see a spike in price. But as I mentioned, based on the chart, there's really no indication that any of this has been initiated. We're just going by the values and it checking where the company stands as of today. I do want to clarify, a lot of folks have been asking me over the past couple of days whether or not I sold out of my position. I have not sold out of my position in this company and I don't plan on selling out, but I am no longer buying on the dip and that includes all Bitcoin miners. To hedge my position and to diversify, instead of putting more money into mining companies, I've elected to buy into the crypto asset itself. So instead of buying high blockchain, I am now buying Ethereum. I find that it's been holding up much better and I do want to diversify. I already have a significant position in high blockchain. So I do want my portfolio to be a bit more diversified. Folks, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's been a very tough couple of months in this market, but I'm still optimistic. I know eventually things will turn over. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have an awesome day. If it did bring you some value, please leave me a like. It does help the channel out tremendously. Take care and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.